Vortex flow meet. When a fluid stream encounters an obstruction, it separates, moves around the object and flows downstream. At the point of contact, eddy currents or vortex swirls are formed alternately on either side of the object. This creates a local increase in pressure and a local decrease in velocity on one side of the obstruction. Meanwhile, it creates a local decrease in pressure and a local increase in velocity on the other side of the object. After shedding a swirl from one side, the process is reversed and a vortex or a swirl is shed from the other side. The frequency of this alternating shedding process is proportional to the velocity of the flowing stream as it passes the point of contact. Vortex flow meter is based on above principle. The vortex flow meter contains a patented shedder bar that acts as a bluff body in the flow stream. The unique shape of the shedder bar provides a wide linear and accurate operating range. Formation of vortices behind this shedder bar face causes alternating pressure to be exerted in the bar. This results in alternating forces on a small flexure section of the bar at the same time frequency as the formation of the vortices. The alternating forces on the flexure section are transmitted to the sensor outside the flow stream via a rocking beam action. A piezoelectric element inside the sensor senses this minute movement of the flexure, creates an electrical signal, and transmits it to the electronics. The frequency is converted to an output signal proportional to the volumetric flow rate. The vortex flow meter will measure gas, liquid, or steam flow rates using the principle of vortex shedding. The transmitter produces either an electronic analog or pulse rate signal linearly proportional to volumetric flow rate. The three major components of the flow meter are a bluff body strut mounted across the flow meter bore, a sensor to detect the presence of the vortex and to generate an electrical impulse, and a signal amplification and conditioning transmitter whose output is proportional to the flow rate. The meter is equally suitable for flow rate or flow totalization measurements. Use for slurries or high viscosity liquids is not recommended.